Can you believe the New Jersey Nets fell at 0-18 on the season and are all alone for futility in the NBA? Can you believe the Detroit Lions finished 0-16 last season in the NFL? And can, can you imagine that Notre Dame lost at Stanford and Charlie Weiss got fired as head coach? For many people, including fans and, athlete, and the athletes themselves, people take losses in different ways. There are many different psychologies regarding losses in sports, and though losses happen, sometimes we figure out, you know, what a loss does for us and how we feel about it. I'm John Marine, and you're watching John Marine Soup. When it comes to losing games, there's a few dynamics that I like to look at. How did you lose, and then how desperate are you for a win? You know, we all wish that our favorite teams can finish undefeated and win a championship. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Because you see, sometimes we just tend to become fixated on the fact that we can beat any team anywhere, regardless of what the final score ends up as. And I don't believe in beautiful wins or ugly wins. I mean, a win is a win no matter how you get it. So when you're talking about losing games and constantly losing games, it all depends on how the fans feel. Take my Texans, for example. We lost 20 to 17 when we could have forced overtime at Indianapolis. Then on Monday Night Football, we hosted the Tennessee Titans. We had a chance to force a game in overtime with a field goal kick. We shanked it again. And then we hosted Indianapolis and we led 20 to 7 at the half. All to lose 35-27 at the final gun or at the final mo final minute. And you know, I visit the, the Houston Texans uh, Facebook page and there's lots of people saying we want Kubiak fired or we want Bill Cower or send some of these players off. I mean some people just give up some people just give up on their favorite teams and like when we had Monday Night Football more people were talking about Vince Young coming to town coming back to his, to his native Houston, Texas than care about the new Houston team. So for many people Many people take losses in different ways. When Chris Brown shanked the two field goals on at Indy and in, at home against Tennessee, I was I was actually pretty pretty upset. I'm like, you have a chance to send a game into overtime and maybe win the game, but you shanked two field goals, two overtime forcing uh, field goals. I was pretty upset, but you know. Not every team has a happy ending, and not every team executes at, at a crunch, at a, in a clutch moment. And you know, when it comes to giving up on your favorite teams, don't ever give up. Because in 2004, didn't a team called the Boston Red Sox win their first world, uh, their first World Series since 1918, I believe? So you never give up on your favorite teams, and you never stop believing in your favorite teams. But when it comes to your favorite teams or your favorite athletes losing, how do you take losses? Obviously, when you win, you feel happy. The world is a happier place. Everything is cool. But when your team loses, it's just agonizing. It's like someone just delivered a dagger right to the heart. Like, <coughs> you know? So, how do you take losses? Send me some comments below. And be sure to visit my blog at johnbmarine.blogspot.com. So how do you take losses in sports? Send me some comments. And yes, as you can tell, I'm back from my Black Friday Thanksgiving uh, weekend. Alive and well, feeling great. Good to be back on YouTube. You all take care. Love and peace. And take care.